Hi everyone and welcome to this special, special Blu-ray update for the last day of February, February 28th, 2015. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new Blu-rays to show off today. I believe six of them I found at Big Lots for a really awesome price. I'm definitely going to go search out for more Big Lots, but the final one is the one I'm more passionate about that I was willing to buy when it first came out. It came out this week on Blu-ray, but let's get on with this Blu-ray update. First one, of course, is The Muppets. This I got at Big Lots for $10, and this is the three-disc combo pack with the digital copy that it has expired. Uh, the, the DVD and the Blu-ray, and it also comes with the soundtrack, which has also expired. But it's okay. I got it for 10 bucks. I love this film from 2011. I love The Muppets. I enjoyed the film that came out last year, Muppets Most Wanted, and I really hope we get another Muppet movie throughout the many years to come. On the back, this is the nice slip cover. You get tons of special features. I'm sad that the soundtrack's not attached to it, but someday I hope to own the soundtrack separately on CD. Let's take the slip cover off, and on the back, it is the same as the back, and the front is pretty much the same. The great cast of all our favorite Muppets and it was great to see the, the human cast as well. Jason Siegel and Chris Cooper and Amy Adams and of course Mickey Rooney has a small cameo and there's a bunch of other cameos in the film as well. Let's open it up really quick and show you inside. There is, uh, this is the DVD. Underneath, underneath this DVD there is the, um, let me show it. Underneath this DVD there is the digital copy and then here's the cool Blu-ray of The Muppets 2011. So happy to finally add this film to my collection. I just I love this film so very much. It's a great return of The Muppets. Next one I picked up for $5 at Big Lots. It is Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. This is the sequel, and I think the only sequel Oliver Stone has ever done and probably will ever do. And I, I really enjoyed Wall Street from the 80s, and of course, Michael Douglas won an Oscar for that, but I really dug this sequel. I thought it was a really compelling story with some great acting by Carey Mulligan and, and Shia LaBeouf and, of course, Michael Douglas and Josh Brolin. Uh, just a great cast. And, of course, there's a cameo from Charlie Sheen in the movie. Uh, I just, I really, really, really loved this sequel. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. I'm so happy to finally add this to my collection. And I also need to find Wall Street. On the back, there are the special features. There's commentary. And this movie really worked. And for, for being an Oliver Stone PG-13 film, and it had some really interesting to say about what has happened in the past at Wall Street and the recession and in 2008. But really enjoyed this film. This one actually comes with, I think this is also expired as well. So these are kind of old Blu-rays, but there's the digital copy, and there is the Blu-ray of Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, 2010. Next one I picked up is 2008. This one has a lot. This is, has the digital copy, the DVD, and the Blu-ray, I believe, of Marley and Mean. This is a really great family movie about a dog. And I'm not going to tell you what happened for the people who haven't seen it yet, but Owen Wilson and Jennifer Aniston. Uh, just a really, a really nice movie. And I wish I saw this in the theater, but I was kind of hesitant because I'm not a fan of Jennifer Aniston. But when I saw it on DVD years later, I really enjoyed it, and I found it for $5 at Big Lots. So can't, buy, can't beat that. There are tons of special features right there that are included, and uh, yeah, this is three discs. This is a three disc Bad Dog Edition. Um, inside, there is uh, the Blu-ray, and I think if I put turn it over, you'll get the DVD and the digital copy, which I think is expired as well. Uh, these are older. I mean, these probably hanging out on a shelf for years, and uh, I'm so glad to, to have that. Next one I picked up is one of my favorite Christmas movies and one of my favorite movies of my childhood and that would be Home Alone. This is the 1990 film directed by Chris Columbus starring Macaulay Culkin and, and written by um, John Hughes. I just love this film and I also want to try and find the sequel because I love the sequel. I saw both these in the theater when they came out. Well, especially Home Alone. saw this in the theater. Uh, a double feature with Nuns on the Run. Anybody remember that movie? It's in my collection on DVD in the back. but. This has got all these special features that are probably available on the DVD, but just five bucks, man. Five freaking dollars. Can't believe it. So excited. Love it. Home Alone, 1990. One of the best Christmas family movies ever made. So funny. Holds up so well. I just I can't wait to watch this this coming Christmas. Next one I picked up is from 
2007. So happy to add this to my collection. I'm a huge fan of the show, even though I don't watch it religiously much anymore. And that would be the Simpsons movie from 2007. Uh, just glad that uh, they finally made a movie. It took forever. Uh, like the humor, like the animation, and I would love to see a Simpson movie. I'd probably watch the next Simpson movie before I go back and watch the show. I just don't have any time to watch The Simpsons anymore. But I love this film. It was a great animated movie, and I highly recommend it to anybody who's a fan of the show or just likes good animation and good adult humor. On the back, there are special features attached to it, commentary and stuff like that. And inside, there is the cool looking disc. I mean, this has got to be one of the coolest looking discs. Homer's Donut, everyone. Took a bite out of it, Homer. Love it. Thank you so much for caring. So much for caring, Fox. Really great. Next one I picked up is from 2010. It is a film directed by David, D Darren Aronofsky. It is Black Swan. Again, $5. Uh, this is a two disc edition because it comes with a digital copy which I believe is, has expired. On the back there are some special features. Just a huge fan of Darren Aronofsky. I almost own all his movies, at least the ones that I like. I don't think I'll plan on owning. No, I didn't really. I liked it, but I don't think I'll ever watch it again. I'm looking forward to him doing something dark again. Or doing something like The Wrestler. Or like Black Swan. On the back, I mean inside, of course, there are the discs of Black Swan, digital copy, and the Blu-ray. But I think it's expired, as I told you before. Great film. Of course, Natalie Portman won the Oscar for Best Actress. And finally... This is a film I've been really excited to talk about, and I bought it, and I highly recommend that you please check it out, rent it, buy it on DVD, buy it on Blu-ray, give it a chance. It's, to me, one of the most underrated films of 2014, and I'm so happy to add it to my collection, and I watched all the special features and the commentary to it, so I can talk about it really quick and give you a quick review of Beyond the Lights, the Blu-ray. This comes with a digital copy, uh, which... Um, I, I think I'm going to share with a friend of mine because I want them to have a copy of it digitally. You don't get a disc, that, but you get the paperwork, the code and stuff, so I'm probably going to give that to a close friend because I want to share that film with people that haven't seen it yet, especially people that are close to me. On the back, there are tons of special features, including some uh, featurettes, deleted scenes, and a commentary. And this actually comes with the director's cut, which is about 15 seconds longer than the original film. They had to tone it down just a little bit so it could get their PG-13. It was originally rated R, and I watched that because I know that because of the commentary. But this is an amazing love story about two uh, people coming from two different worlds. And this movie uh, just touched my life. And it was a film that I remember going in to see it thinking, I hated the trailer. I don't expect anything from this. Uh, we, we don't get a lot of smart films uh, that tackle this kind of subject matter. You know, this is a film not directed by Tyler Perry, thank goodness, because it would have been full of stereotypes and unrealistic love. But it's directed by a female director who's awesome. Gina Prince by the Wood, I believe is her name. And she just does an amazing job. Nate Parker and Gugu Mbatha-Ra give amazing performance. And of course, this film was also nominated for Best Original Song at this year's Oscars. So congratulations to them. I really wish they would have won, but of course, the nomination is praise enough. I'm going to take this off. This is the nice slip cover. But this is just one of my favorite movies of last year. It's a movie that really touched me and... Uh, real characters. It felt so real and so genuine and this is one of the best love stories I've ever seen in cinema history. So please, if you haven't had a chance to see this movie, please find it, red box it, buy it, Blu-ray, DVD. Right now it's at Walmart. As I do this video for on Blu-ray it's for $19.99 and it's $14.99 on DVD. On the back there are the same special features and we'll show you inside of the cool disc of uh, Fox uh, who uh, distributed this film. Really they really, uh, most of these were Fox movies I showed off today, and uh, they just really care about their cover art on their on their Blu-rays. But I appreciate that as a fan of this movie, and I'm so happy to add this film to my collection, and I cannot recommend this film enough. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this Blu-ray update. In the comment box below, let me know what you thought of these movies. Do you own these movies in your collection? Do you shop at Big Lots? Have you found some cool finds that maybe you could tell me? I'd really appreciate it. And if you've seen Beyond the Lights, in the comment box below, tell me what you thought of the movie. Hi everyone, I am Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com. And if you've enjoyed this Blu-ray update, please click right here, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. 
In the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life, and I'll talk to you in my next movie review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you.